Listen. So if you take the last class, what you are discussing, we are discussing about the different types of unit cells. What is the definition for the unit cell, right? And if you take particular unit cell, what are the edges? What is the corner? What are the six parameters of the unit cell? Alpha, beta, gamma, A, B, C. And next one about the classification of solids you have done in the last class. Then if you take one particular unit cell, how many edges will be there in the unit cell? How many edges will be there in one particular unit cell? Eight. Eight. What about other one? Next one. Who gave this answer? Eight answer. Vishnu or uh, Ram Charan? Me. Sir. Okay. What about Vishnu? What is the answer? It's no problem. It's right or wrong. No issue. Just give your answer. The answer is twelve. Okay. The answer is twelve. Total, we have the twelve edges along each unit cell, and total, we have the twelve edge centers also. Okay. So next one is the unit cells: body centered, face centered, end centered. Any doubts in this? Any doubts? No, sir. And this is what we started in the last class, right? About the fourteen bravest lattices and the seven crystal systems. Just I have given the points only in the last class, but today we'll study completely. Now, can you see the cursor first? Can I see the cursor? Yes or no? Boys. So whatever there in the between, this is the triclinic. This system, crystal system, is called the triclinic. Which will have all the different angles and all the different length of the sides. That means A not equal to B not equal to C, and alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma. That is not equal to 90 degrees. So all will have the three different angles and the three different sides. Okay. Now next one. If you take the left sides, all the angles are same. Like alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90. The left side of the triclinic completely you can see here in the first condition here, and in the second condition tetragonal also same alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to ninety, and in the orthorhombic also same alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to ninety. So all these are the same in the case of left side. All the angles will be similar. Okay, but when you come to the right side, the angles are not similar at all. When you come to the right of the triclinic, the angles are different in each and every case. Alpha equal to gamma equal to 90, but beta not equal to 90 in the case of rhombohedron. But alpha equal to beta equal to 90, but gamma equal to 120 degrees in the case of hexagonal. And in the monoclinic, what is the angles? What is the angle in the monoclinic?
can you hear me properly or not vishwanathan ramcharan can you hear me or not yes sir yes sir what is the angle in the case of monoclinic Alpha equal to gamma equal to ninety, beta not equal to ninety. There is an angle in the case of monoclinic. But left side all the angles are same, right side all the angles are different. But when you compare in the row wise, like if you take the top row here, the first row, all the sides are same. A equal to B equal to C in the case of cubic, and rhombohedra also same. A equal to B equal to C. This is our row. You can see here, right in the top. So a equal to b equal to c in the case of cubic and a equal to b equal to c in the case of rhombohedral. But when you come to the between, like tetragonal and the hexagonal, in this a equal to b but not equal to c. Again, same in the hexagonal also. A equal to b but not equal to c. So when you come to the between row, two and two sides are same. One side is different. But when you come to the top of this, all the sides are same. When you come to the last row. What is there in the case of orthorhombic and the monoclinic? All the sides are different, right? A not equal to B not equal to C in orthorhombic, and A not equal to B not equal to C in the case of monoclinic also. Okay. So this is what the fourteen crystal system, sorry, fourteen Bravais statuses and the seven crystal systems. And if you take the cubic, we have the simple FCC and the BCC. So what is the full form of BCC? What is the full form of BCC? BCC means body centered cubic cell or the body centered unit cell. FCC means Face centered unit cell. Okay, simple means simple. ECC means end centered unit cell. So these are the fourteen Bravais statuses and the seven crystal systems. Just go through it. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Diarrhea. Any doubts? Do some reply. No sir. Okay. So next one is a calculation part. Now or not is very very important for the numerical point of view because if you know this contribution part only can able to solve the density formulas. Okay. Because density formula is equal to what z into m by a cube into n a. We should compulsory remember the z value for the FCC, BCC, okay, HCP and the ECC. Okay, to calculate that z value, there is an effective number of atoms. Each lattice point will contribute only a little bit to the particular unit cell. So that is the next topic: type of lattice point 
and their contribution to one unit cell. Suppose if the lattice point is the corner, or if you take one atom is occupying the corner, that atom can share with eight other lattice sites, or you can say eight other unit cells. Okay, whichever the atom is there at the corner, that atom will share with eight other unit cells. That means. Only one eighth portion of that atom belongs to one unit cell. Understanding? If you take particular atom at the corner, that atom will share with eight other unit cell. So effective number of effective amount of atom to particular unit cell is only one by eight. Similarly, if you take the edge, if you take one atom at the edge center. the edge can share with the four other atoms right or four other unit cells so the effective part is only 1/4 understanding if you take the face center if the atom is at the face center now that atom can share with one one more unit cell so two unit cells will share one atom among the face center the effective portion of the atom is only half But if you take the body center, what about the body center? The atom will be there completely inside the unit cell, right? So there is no sharing at all with other unit cells. So whatever the atom is there, completely it belongs to only one unit cell. So if the atom at the corner now, it is only one eighth portion is contributing to one unit cell. If the atom at the edge, it is only one fourth portion contributing to unit cell. If the atom at the face center, it is only one by two. If the atom at the body center, it is only one. Clear? Are any doubts in this? If you have any doubts, you can ask me. I will explain you once again. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. I will explain you. calculations of number of particles any doubts boys there your voice is not audible to me no audible Just I can hear only little, little bit. So you can see one video on this first, so it will be easy to understand. In a unit cell, a crystal lattice is made up of a very large number of unit cells. Each unit cell is touching a number of other unit cells. in a unit cell every lattice point is occupied by one constituent particle thus a constituent particle present at the lattice point may be shared by a number of unit cells let us now understand the contribution of a particle in a lattice point to its unit cell a corner atom is shared equally by eight unit cells now can you see this one if the atom is there at one corner of the unit cell it is shared with the eight other unit cells right like four in the top and four in the bottom 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 
three, four, four in the top. It is sharing the pink color one. In the same atom below, it is shared, shared with them. Which color you will say? Light yellow color. So below it is shared with the four other atoms. So whatever the atom there at the corner, it is shared among the eight members of the unit cells. Four unit cells are present in the lower layer, and four unit cells are present on the upper layer. Therefore, each corner atom contributes only one eighth atom to a particular unit cell. A face centered atom is shared. Now this is the face centered. So whatever the atom is there at the face center, it is shared among the two other unit cells. So the effective contribution only are equally by two unit cells having a common face. Therefore, an atom present at the center of the face of a unit cell contributes half atom to each unit cell. A body centered atom is not shared by any adjacent unit cell in a crystal lattice. Therefore, it contributes fully to a unit cell. A edge centered atom is shared by four adjacent unit cells in the crystal lattice. Two unit cells are present in the lower layer and two unit cells are present on the upper layer. Therefore, it contributes only one fourth of itself to a unit cell. Calculation of number of atoms per unit cells in primitive cubic unit cell. In the contribution part now. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, if you take the simple cubic cell, how many corners are there? Eight, sir. Eight corners. And each atom will contribute how much part at the corner? One by eight, right? So eight into one by eight, effectively you get only one atom from the complete unit cell. So complete unit cell is made up of only one atom okay then if, yes, you, if you take the fcc then what is the z value z value is equal to one in the case of simple cubic unit cell then what about the fcc total we have the eight atoms at the eight corners okay and each atom at the corner contribute only one eighth portion so eight into one by eight that is equal to one so one net atom will get from the corners but FCC means what? Along with the corners, the atoms are also occupying the face centers. So total six faces are there. And each atom at the face center contribute only half of it. So six into one by two, how much? Three. So total we'll get the three effective number of atoms from the faces and one atom from the corner. So total number of atoms is how many? Total number of atoms is equal to four. So in the case of FCC, total we have the four atoms are there. The next one is the BCC. So in the case of BCC, what is there? The eight atoms will be there at the corner and each one will contribute only one eighth. There is no face centered at all. Okay, there is no face centered at all. So there is no contribution at all from the face center. But we have only one atom at the body center, which is completely belongs to one unit cell. So one atom from the corner and one atom from the body center combinedly will form total. Effective number of atoms belongs to one BCC unit cell is two. So Z value equal to two in the case of BCC. Same way ECC also same. Eight corners and each one will contribute one by eight. And two faces atom will be there and each one will contribute one by two. Total number of atoms equal to Two in the case of ECC. 
So these are the z values in the case of simple cube, FCC, and the BCC, ECC. Okay. Any doubts in the calibration part? Any doubts in the calibration part? This will study afterwards relationship between the A and the R. But next one is the density formula, which is very, very important. And the numericals are will come on this formula especially. So this is the first numerical type of questions from this chapter. Till now we discussed only about the theory part. Okay. Now density formula is what? Mass by volume. Simple density is equal to mass by volume. But in the solid state, we have the different formula for density. That is equal to z into m by a cube into n a. Density is equal to z into m by a cube into n a. So z is nothing but the number of atoms for, belongs to particular unit cell. M is the molar mass of the atom. A is the edge length of the atom. And Na is the Avogadro's constant that is equal to 6.22022 into 10 power 23. Okay, so this is the density of the solids formula Z into M by A cube into Na. So in the exam point of view, they will give you the either density value and they will ask you to find out the edge length. Or they will give you the edge length value, they will ask you to find out the density. So we have to be very careful what is the units are given because units plays an important role in that. Clear? Generally, if you take the exam, from this chapter, especially A value given in the picometers. But again, the options, they will ask us the answer in the centimeters. So conversion factor is very, very important. So one picometer equal to how many meters? One picometer equal to how many meters? Any answer? Already given in the para it's here itself, right? One picometer equal to 10 power minus 12 meters, or which is equal to 10 power minus 10 centimeters. Okay. So you have to be very careful in substituting the value of edge length because we have to check the options whether they are given the centimeters or the meters or the picometers. Because density formula is what? G per centimeter cube, right? or kg per meter cube. That is the density units. So we have to match with the density units. So we have to take the answer according to the required question. Okay. Either picometers or the meters or the centimeters. So any doubts on this formula? Any doubts? Guys, unmute yourself and you can speak. Dairiya, Ramcharan and Vishwanath. Okay, we'll solve some numericals on this. 
okay before that we'll study the next topic packing efficiency so packing efficiency is nothing but the fraction of the atoms covered or occupied in a unit cell that is the packing efficiency fraction of the atoms covered or occupied in a unit cell so you can call it as a packing fraction also the fraction of atoms covered or occupied in a unit cell is equal to packing efficiency or the packing fraction so packing efficiency equal to what volume occupied by all the atoms by volume of unit cell that is the definition for the packing efficiency or the packing fraction if you want the volume occupied by all the atoms which is equal to volume occupied by effective atom into volume of an atom so if you want the volume of the sphere now atom is nothing but the sphere so if you want volume of the sphere what you will do form which formula you use 4 by 3 pi r cube formula you use that is the volume of the sphere then volume occupied by the effective atom that is nothing but how many atoms are there in the given unit cell that indicates the z value so z indicates the how many number of atoms and volume of the atom indicates the volume of the each atom so 4 by 3 pi r cube by total volume of the cube cube so this is a packing efficiency formula which is very very important z into 4 by 3 pi r cube by volume cube so just you can remember directly the packing efficiency in the different crystal systems like simple what is the packing efficiency bcc what is the packing efficiency hcp what is the packing efficiency fcc what is the packing efficiency that values is enough anybody knows these values already anyone know the value already you the answer anybody knows the answer or not packing efficiency is equal to z into 4 by 3 pi r cube by volume cube okay so in the case of simple cube what is the z value what is the z value in the case of simple cube ram charan ram charan what is the z value in the case of simple cube diarrhea Vishwanath, z equal to one in the case of simple cube. So when you substitute z equal to one and a equal to two r, that is the relationship between the a and r in the case of simple cube. So when you substitute all these values, you will get packing efficiency in the simple cube is. Fifty-two percentage. That means only fifty-two percentage of the given cube is occupied by the atoms. Whatever the remaining thing is there, it is an empty space, or you can call it as a vacant space. 
that is 48 percentage. The vacant space is only 48 percentage in the simple cube, and the packing efficiency is a 52 percentage. Okay, this fraction you will get when you substitute the value of z equal to 1 and a equal to 2r. The relationship between the edge length and the radius of the atom, where small r is the radius of the atom and a is the edge length of the cube. So, in the case of simple cube, the relationship is what? a equal to 2r. So, in a substitute, these formulas will get the packing efficiency as 52 percentage. Okay, so 100 is the total percentage. If you substitute 100 from the 52 now, you'll get packing fraction as, sorry, vacant space as 48 percentage. Clear? Any doubts? Dairi and Vishwanath, only two are there in the class, right? If you are also not unmuting your mic and telling anything now, what I can understand? Unmute yourself and you can tell. If you can't understand, I'll explain you once again, right? Sir, understand. Yeah. Okay. So, packing efficiency we have studied in the simple cube and the coordination number. So, what is the meaning of coordination number? The number of nearest to neighboring atoms is called as a coordination number. What is the coordination number? The number of nearest to neighboring atoms is called as a coordination number. For the simple cube, the coordination number will be 6. Okay. So just wait a minute. I'll check any cube. Okay. Suppose you have taken the one dimensional image like this. And if you take the shaded atom, how many atoms are touching directly to the shaded atom? If you take this one dimensional thing, and if you take the shaded atom, how many atoms are directly touching? Two, oh, sir. Two, right? Directly touching with the shaded atom. Take this as the atom. Only this atom, left side one, and the right side one is touching directly. Yes or no? These two atoms are not directly touching with the shaded atom. Understanding? Yes, sir. So coordination number is nothing but number of nearest to neighboring atoms. Number of nearest to neighboring atoms are the number of atoms directly contact with given atom. That is called as a coordination number. So in the case of this, the coordination number will be two. In the same way, if you take the square close packing, and if you take this shadowed atom, how many atoms are directly touching? Four, sir. Four. That means the coordination number will be four. But in the case of hexagonal close packing, six atoms are directly touching with the given atom. So the coordination number will be six in the case of hexagonal close packing. Fine? Yes, sir. Okay, so in the case of simple cube, the packing efficiency is 52 percentage and the void fraction is 48 percentage. Okay. And coordination number is six. Same way, if you take the body centered atom. Okay, in the case of body centered, just remember these values, the calculation part is not important. Just for understanding only how to run this. 
what about the z value in the case of body centered one sir z value it is not one in the case of simple cube it is a one but z value will be different in the case of body centered what is it the z value will be the 2 in the case of body centered so packing efficiency is equal to z into 4 by 3 pi r cube by volume cube right so z equal to 2 in the case of vcc and the relationship between the a and r in the bcc is root 3 a equal to 4 r what is the relationship root 3 a equal to 4 r is the relationship between the edge length and the radius of the atom in the bcc structure so when you substitute these two values you will get packing efficiency as 68 percentage if the packing efficiency is 68 percentage now what is the vacant space 100 minus of 68 is the vacant space that is a 32 percentage is the vacant space in the case of bcc okay yes sir so z value will be 2 in the case of bcc and what is the relationship value edge length and r what is the relation 4r is equal to root 3a yes. 4r is equal to root 3a good so packing efficiency is 68 percentage and vacant space is 32 percentage suppose if you have taken this center atom this is a body center right this atom can touch with how many other atoms directly if you take the one particular atom at the body center this directly in contact with how many other atoms eight sir eight atoms four at the core four at the top and four at the bottom right total eight yes, atoms sir. are there so the coordination number will be the eight okay the last uh, the last one is the packing efficiency in the case of hcp or the ccp hcp is a hexagonal close packing ccp is a cubic close packing or fcc is the face centered close packing so fcc is different unit cell and the hcp are different unit cell but both will have the same close pa packing efficiency okay that is what you are going to do here in the case of fcc ccp and hcp sorry in the case of fcc we have the z value equal to 4 the number of effective number of atoms is equal to 4 in the case of fcc and the relationship between the a and the r is root 2a is equal to 4r what is the relationship root 2a equal to 4r fine so the packing efficiency is 72 percentage in the case of fcc and the vacant space how much 100 minus of 72 is the 28 percentage is the vacant space in the case of fcc structure or the ccp and the hcp and the coordination number is 12 in the case of hcp or the ccp or the fcc okay So this is a simple tabular column. What we studied till now, I have given entirely thing in only in one tabular column. So the relationship between the A and R in the simple cube is how much? A is equal to two R, and in the case of BCC, what is the relationship? Root R R root three is equal to For R, yes. the case of FCC or the HCP, root two A is equal to four R. 
What is this root two a and root three a? Anyone of you tell me? I already said this in the initial definition topic itself. In the case of body centered unit cell, what is this root three a? A diagonal, sir. Very good. Length of the diagonal. So length of the body diagonal is equal to root three a. That root three a is approximately equal to the four times of radius of the atom. In the case of FCC, the length of the face diagonal is root two a. That root two a value is approximately equal to the four times of radius of the atom. That is what given in the relationship between the a and the r. Okay. And the coordination number of simple cube is six. BCC it is a eight, and the FCC or the HCP it is a twelve. And what about the packing efficiency? Simple cube it is a fifty-two percentage. BCC it is a sixty-eight percentage. FCC or the HCP it is a Sorry, I have given the mistake here. Simple cube. What is the packing efficiency? Fifty two, sir. Correct only. Fifty four, I think so. Fifty two. Okay, okay. Correct only. The so packing efficiency in the case of simple cube is a 52 percentage, and the vacant space is 48 percentage. And in the case of BCC, the packing efficiency is 68 percentage, and the vacant space is 32 percentage. But in the HCP column, I have given wrong. 72 sir. It is 72 percentage only packing efficiency, and the vacant yes, space is 28 percentage. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. So, remaining topic we'll study in the next class. Just we'll revise what are the topics we discussed in today's class itself. So we started with the fourteen Dravet lattices. Okay. So what are the fourteen Dravet lattices? And the seven crystal systems. The first one is the triclinic. In the case of triclinic, we have the A not equal to B not equal to C, and alpha not equal to B not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degrees. That is a triclinic. Next, cubic. Alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90, and A equal to B equal to C. Next, tetragonal. What are the conditions? What are the conditions of tetragonal? First, did you understand the topic? This one, sir. Then, what are the conditions? For A is equal to B, B is not equal to C, sir. Okay. And angles? All are equal, sir. All are equal. Alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to ninety degrees. That is, the angles all are equal. Sir. So what is the shortcut? I said to remember all the things. Left side, all the angles are same. Right side, all the angles are different. Right? But when you yes, come sir. in the row wise. The top row, all the sides are same. In between, only two sides are same. The third side is different in length. In the bottom, all the sides are different length. <coughs> okay, that is what the trick. You can remember all the fourteen Bravais lattices and the seven crystal systems with the help of this one simple chart. If you see in the textbook, now it is a complex tabular column will be there. It is difficult to remember. So this is a very simple. So your wish, you can either you can remember the tabular column or in the chart format.
so after this we have done the contribution part which is very very important so total eight atoms will be there at the eight corners and each atom will contribute only one eighth portion at the corner okay at the same time total how many edges are there how many edge centers are there 12 sir 12 edge centers are there but each atom will contribute only 1/4 of to the unit cell okay next face centers how many face centers 6 and each atom will contribute only half of the atom to the particular unit cell so we will get the total only 3 atoms from the faces and body centered one belongs to completely to the whole unit cell so that is the contribution and z value z equal to 1 in the case of simple cube and z equal to 4 in the case of bcs fcc z equal to 2 in the case of bcc and z equal to 2 in the case of ecc okay these are the z values which are very important any doubts in this any doubts no sir